Activation is a very important part of configuring and managing your Microsoft products, but often IT pros overlook this. Like most products, Windows 10 requires activation. Activation verifies that your copy of Windows 10 is legitimate and that the product key you use to license your copy is valid and not currently being used elsewhere. You can activate Windows 10 in a number of ways, by using an internet accessible service at Microsoft, by telephone or by using bulk activation methods such as the key management service, Active Directory domain services based activation and others. You must use a product key when you purchased a retail version of Windows 10, when your organization has a Microsoft volume licensing agreement, when you purchased a new device with Windows 10 installed, but you don't need a product key when you upgraded from a supported device running a legitimate copy of Windows 7 or 8.1, when you purchased Windows 10 from the Microsoft Store, or when you purchased a Windows 10 Pro upgrade from the Microsoft Store. There are a number of different volume activation methods available to you. With KMS, you can use a Windows Server role service to activate Windows 10 in your organization's network. Your client computers connect to the KMS server to activate, thereby negating the need to connect to Microsoft for activation. It's not necessary to dedicate a server computer to perform this function. Note that KMS is designed for organizations with either 25 physical or virtual client devices persistently connected to a network, or for organizations with five or more physical or virtual servers. With Active Directory based activation, any device running Windows 10 that's connected to your organization's domain network and is using a generic volume licensing key, or VLK, can use AD based activation. Every so often, the client must reconnect to the ADDS licensing service. So for the activation to remain valid, the client device must remain part of your organization's domain. As with KMS, you don't need to dedicate a server to the Active Directory based activation role. You can't use AD based activation to activate computers running Windows 10 that are not members of your domain. Multiple activation key uses special VLKs that can activate a specific number of devices to run Windows 10. You can distribute these as part of your organization's Windows 10 operating system image. This is a useful method to use for isolated client computers. Once you've installed the necessary server roles, you can use the Volume Activation Management Tool, or VAMT, to manage your organization's volume activation centrally. The VAMT is part of the Windows ADK. You can use the VAMT for, to manage activations not only for Windows 10 but also for Windows Server and Microsoft Office. You can use VAMT to control activations for groups of computers running Windows 10 based on domain membership, workgroup name, IP configuration or computer names. Once you've installed VAMT you can use it to perform the following activation related tasks. Verify the KMS host key. This enables you to set up your host for volume activations. Discover computers and products. You can discover computers and licensable products on your organization's network. Collect licensing data from installed products and devices including license state and last five characters of the product code. Determine the number of activations remaining for your multiple activation keys and install these multiple activation keys on remote devices. View and, if you want, export activation data for reporting purposes.